resources back. Here to report anything else? You talk and get paid, I spread the news. It's a classic win-win. Really? To say you have my undivided attention is an understatement. A lot of people were there. The accounts we've got were chaotic. What was your role in that? The Vanguard was involved. That's good to know. The whole city is still on edge over the attack. We were fortunate, damn fortunate, that casualties were so low. What was it like in the thick of things? Mm, pure instinct, huh? It sounds like New Atlantis. Heck, the whole UC owes you a great debt. Any closing comments? I already have a good story here. That makes me feel better. I feel like such a sap, but it does. Hey, Constellation, from all of us that live here, thanks. We use the word hero a lot in news, but you really are one. You have another story for me? I'm working on an investigative piece about some of the businesses in the well right now. Trying to get a handle on how things are in that part of the city. I'm not sure the story will get off the ground, though. <clears throat> I asked the higher-ups if I could go down there for some interviews, but they said it's too dangerous. They'd probably be all for it if David asked. I wouldn't be writing it if I didn't. Most people in New Atlantis like to pretend the well doesn't exist. I think it's important to call attention to what's going on down there. Would you really? I'd owe you big time if you did. You've been a huge help on my other stories. I'm sure you'd do great. Who do I look like? David Barron? Yeah, I'd give you credit for your work. Credits, too. I have a small budget for things like this. Great. I had three interviewees in mind. Teresa Mason, the owner of Kay's house, Henrik Zoran at Apex Electronics, and Nurse O'Shea from the Med Bay. You don't need to ask too many tough questions. I just want to read on how their businesses are doing, and how things are in the well. I really can't thank you enough. Scientifically speaking, terraforming is a more important advancement than space travel. There's definitely an argument for both. You ask me, the real New Atlantis is down here. Stuff tops. All this stuff is legit. Promise. Look around, you tell me. You see is a big organization. Lot of planets, lot of people, a lot to keep track of. Sometimes they don't do such a good job of that. Sometimes stuff falls through the cracks. 
winds up collecting dust in some warehouse. But that's all right, because I, and by extension you, get to benefit. I make great deals on stuff in bulk, you get some low prices. Everyone wins. A lot of people will tell you it's the worst. One step above being homeless. They'll whine about how folks topside have it so much better. Me? I like it. More real down here. Topside, everyone's trying to show how civilized and rich they are. Oh, it's exhausting. But, hey, to each their own. Absolutely. Watch your back out there. Really? I Always nice to see a fresh face around here. You stop in whenever you'd like. Everyone's welcome, so long as you keep your hands to yourself. Understand? No causing trouble in here. No shortage of hungry mouths to feed around here. Keeps us on our toes. Nothing else. Mom, that's Kay, gets all the credit. Started making sure people felt welcome back when I was just a kid. She had one rule. No cause in trouble. Everyone abided by it. Put their differences aside when they came through the door. After a few years of feeding so many mouths, we needed extra credits to stay afloat. Didn't mean for this to turn into a business, but here we are. If folks are willing to pay a little to have some place to feel safe and get a decent meal, well then we'll sure take it. Absolutely. I'm sure my mom would be proud to have the place featured in an article. What's up? Yeah, sure thing. I'm Teresa Mason, and this is my home. My mom's the K who founded K's house. I grew up here along with the business. My mom passed the place on to me when she decided to retire. Running it is my pride and joy. I've put everything I have into it. Same as ever. I've lived in the well my whole life, and things have never really changed. The UC government promises to clean the place up every couple years, but there's still just as much crime and poverty as there was when I was a kid. That's why Kay's house is so important. It's the one place people in the well feel safe. Be sure to put that in the article, okay? I'm really proud of it. Business is steady, as usual. We don't tolerate violence or disrespect. So a lot of folks like to spend time here. The only thing that's worrying me is a new group of customers I've seen hanging around lately. They've been watching the UC Surplus store pretty closely. I have a bad feeling they might be planning something. Kay's house has a reputation as a safe place. I don't want to be associated with that kind of thing. Honestly, I'd really appreciate that. I'd feel terrible if something happened and I hadn't done anything to try to stop it. Why don't you come by when you have some spare time? And we'll talk it out. Great. Let me know when the article comes out, will you? I'd like to read it. If you haven't, make sure you say hello to Mama. She likes checking in with everyone. Would you? I I'd really appreciate it. I saw them hanging around the UC surplus earlier today. 
They sure looked suspicious to me. They've been coming here regularly for the last couple weeks, and all they do is sit on the balcony and watch the UC surplus. I thought I heard them mention a robbery, but I'm not sure. They seem to know I'm onto them, so they stop talking about it when I'm around. I'd rather you didn't. I want to make sure I'm right about this before we go to security. But I have to be sure they're up to something before I get the authorities involved. I don't want to get anyone on security's bad side for no reason. Why don't you do a little sleuthing for me? Maybe you'll have better luck eavesdropping on them than I did. We can decide what to do once we figure out if they're really up to something. like the present. We'll do it tonight. We'll be fine, trust me. We'll be in and out in time to make last call at Jake's. Felix info is good. This will be a piece of cake. That's a pretty big if. You gotta trust me. We'll be fine. <laughs> I guess I need to work on my self-confidence. If we can make this happen, we'll be real big shots around here. Don't take it personal if I don't stop to chat. Lots to do, not nearly enough hands to do it all. Damn. I was hoping I had it wrong. <sighs> I guess that settles it. We have to get the authorities involved before they can go through with the robbery. You should take this straight to Officer Endler at the security office. He'll look into it. If he gives you a hard time, tell him I sent you to make the report. That'll get him on your side. Head out the door and turn left. It's all the way at the end of the street. You can't miss it. Sort of. He's a regular customer, and I've reported crimes to him before. He's more fair-minded than most of the Wells security officers. Thanks. Let me know when you've made the report, okay? Do you know why this place has stood for so long? I make sure everyone's comfy. I tell it like it is, and I don't take any shit. You're out there a lot, right? In space? Just do us all a favor and never turn into one of those spacers. Oh, scum of the galaxy. Robbing, stealing, killing. Even the Crimson Fleet don't trust them. I don't know why you see security bothers with an office down here when they're clearly not interested in helping these people at all. Something I can help you with? <sighs> well, that's what we're here for. What's going on? The UC surplus. You sure about that? It's been a long time since someone was stupid enough to rob that place. It's a military outfit for one thing. Most criminals don't want to make an enemy of the UC. The guy who runs is pretty intense, too. He wouldn't think twice about shooting a would-be thief. Hmm. It's hard to argue with first-hand info. I guess I'll take your word for it. I'll head over there now to check it out. Those thieves won't be so cocky with security on patrol. Your ship that landed not too long ago? 
Sure is something. The file says you have a military background. Well, don't embarrass your old outfit. Stay out of trouble. That was quick. How'd things go with Officer Endler? I'm glad to hear it. I'll think twice about trying anything with security in the area. Thanks for your help with this. I feel a lot better knowing security's on patrol down there. Stay as long as you like. And don't be a stranger. Sources. We try not to turn anyone away just because they're light on credits. We're doing the best we can here. That's all we can ever do. Don't have much of a choice. Can't afford to pay staff, and while I've got a few volunteers from the community, I can only ask so much of them. We've scraped by for a good long while now, and we'll continue to do so. Don't you worry. Funny story about that. You know, when people first arrived on Jemison, they dismantled the colony ship and used the parts to establish a place to live. Over time, they built out, and up, and up, and after long enough, they started to forget about the people and the things still down here. The walls and the ceiling have changed, but this place still uses equipment from that old ship. And it's here because not everyone in New Atlantis can afford Reliant Medical. A journalist? That's a surprise. Most people don't think anything that goes on in the well is worth writing about. I'd be happy to help if I can. Sure, if you'd like. My name's Talia. I was born and raised right here in the well. I've been the nurse here at the Med Bay for over a decade now. Once upon a time, I was a combat medic for the UC Navy. When the colony war ended, I came back to the well to put my skills to use for the people here. Things are always the same in the well. Violent and dangerous. I swear I treat more injuries here than I did when I was a Navy medic. Things are always rough at the Med Bay. I'm the closest thing to a doctor that the well has, and I can't treat everyone. The last few weeks have been especially bad. There's some kind of infection going around, and a lot of kids down here are catching it. It just breaks my heart to see. Oh, you're sweet to offer. There might be something you can do, if you're willing. Let's chat again when you have some time to spare, all right? All right, dear. You let me know if there's anything else I can do for you. Three gunshots this week alone. I guess we know where UC Security's priorities are. And aren't. Oh, you remembered. I'm touched, dear, really. Yes, there's absolutely something you can do to help. All the children seem to have the same stomach bug, but I'm having trouble diagnosing it. Pediatrics isn't my specialty. But one of my colleagues, Dr. Lebedev, is an expert. If I had his research notes, I'm sure I could diagnose the disease and find a treatment. 
He works topside at Reliance Medical. It's easy to find. It's right between Mast and Orion Tower. Dr. Lebedev is always there. I've seen an uptick in cases of sick children in the medbay recently. They all seem to be presenting the same symptoms, but I can't identify the cause. It isn't serious enough to kill them, but I haven't found an effective treatment yet. That has me worried. Oh, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I'd go myself, but I can't leave the medbay unattended. Should you find yourself in need, medical supplies are available for purchase at, if I may say, very competitive prices. Welcome to Reliant. If you're in need of medical assistance or require supplies, I am sure we can accommodate you. A medical problem Talia can't solve. I never thought I'd see the day. How can I help? We've been professional acquaintances for a long time. She's an excellent nurse. If the well didn't need her so badly, I'd have offered her a job here ages ago. Sick children? Well, we can't have that. I'd be happy to help. Let's see. A stomach bug. I've treated plenty of those. I keep extensive notes. I'm sure I have something that can help. Ah, yes, here we go. This should do the trick. I've uploaded some of my notes on common stomach issues in pediatric patients to this slate. Please, pass it on to Talia. She can keep it. And give her my best, will you? I hope everything works out for those kids. We're doing the best we can here. That's all we can ever do. Three gunshots this week alone. I guess we know where UC Security's priorities are. And I want to be Really? Let's see. Ah, oh, this is perfect. I knew Dr. Lebedev would have what I needed. I'll have this solved in no time with these notes for reference. Thank you so much, dear. Really. I couldn't have done this without you. It's been a pretty good year overall. Stock's a bit low, so you might find yourself disappointed. If you're a serious customer, feel free to look around. That's so. Think folks down here are too poor to afford electronics. Not the first time I heard that line. Yeah, I get that kind of attitude far too often. You find yourself with any more commentary, feel free to keep it to yourself. Uh, it's fine, just maybe give things an extra thought before you let them roll right out of your mouth. Nope, no question business has been slow lately. Not too worried though, managed to make ends meet for a good long while. Don't expect that to change now. A reporter? Fine, but I'm only talking basics. I don't like people snooping around my business. Name's Henrik. I own Apex Electronics. That's all I'm willing to say to some nosy reporter. How the hell do you think? Life's a mess down here. I'm not holding my breath for it to get any better. Door's still open, isn't it? That's my idea of success. 
Sorry if you were hoping for something more flowery. Great! Now why don't you help me out and buy something? I scratch your back, you scratch mine. I help out Henrik from time to time. Not very often these days. But that's fine. Don't mind me. Just a weary man, resting his feet. Oh, Henrik is an old friend of mine. I help out around here from time to time. But I don't just loiter around. I'm involved in my own business endeavor as well. Maybe a little, but that's not such a bad thing, is it? Better than all the noise and attention topside, if you ask me. Unfortunately, I'm quite old-fashioned. I only deal with associates that I know and trust. But, if you do a small favor for me, I might feel comfortable opening my business up to you. All you need to do is pick up a package from Red Mile and deliver it to me. You don't even need to interact with anyone. Ah, I'm not at liberty to discuss that yet, but I assure you, it's quite lucrative. The contents are of no interest to you. And they're not contraband, if that's what you're wondering. If you're uncomfortable doing this favor, you're free to decline. Fantastic. I eagerly await your return. Stay out of trouble. Even in the well, the trade authority continues to flourish. Oh, makes you sick, doesn't it? The trade authority has access to goods and services no one else does. No one. Welcome to the trade authority. If you're here on legitimate business, I would be more than happy to help you. If, however, you are here under false pretense, say, sent by one Miss Tsang of UC Distribution, then I'm afraid you'll find nothing illegitimate here to report to her. And I'd ask that you pass along my request to stop these silly games. So, what'll it be? <laughs> no one she's sent so far has had any hint of a sense of humor. So either she's getting craftier, or you're not working for her. Please, let me know if I can assist you further. I thought the name made it rather obvious. We are the authority on trade in the settled systems. Whether it's bulk cargo, specialty items, or individual requests, we make sure things get where they need to go. We have shipping lanes across the settled systems and deal with nearly every major corporation and faction there is. We've been in New Atlantis for a very long time before most things topside were built. With lots of infrastructure already in place, ample storage, and discreet access to the spaceport, it makes sense to stay. It's had the unintentional, but not unwelcome, side effect of weeding out people who can be... timid about doing business. Many different parties use the mission board to post jobs for freelancers and the like. For example, the Trade Authority uses them to post cargo hauling jobs. You'll usually find mission boards in bars, typically ones nearest the spaceport. You might be able to find them elsewhere, but that's your best bet. It's cliche, but it's true. Everything has a price. And whatever it may be, I can afford it. 
Be my guest. Pleasure dealing with you. Kay's food is as close to home cooking as you'll find around here. I do odd jobs at evening hours. Lift crates, stock shelves, sweep floors. It's not much, but it's enough. What you see is what you get. Work's rough, day's rougher. But I like to think when things get bad, that's when people's kindness shines brightest. Even down here, <laughs> where the sun don't shine. Now, I came here like a lot of folks, looking for work. It's an ongoing search. The ones who've been here for a while, uh, they can't even sleep unless they got a turbine in their ear. Maybe someday I'll be the same. Nope, just uh, make sure you wipe your feet. You track mud in, then someone's gotta sweep it out. Most days, that's me. Stay safe. We run a number of social programs, from financial aid to food banks. There's a lot of work that needs to be done in the well. A lot of people in need. No. We don't exactly pass around an offering plate, if that's what you're asking. But we do run mostly on donations. And as you might have guessed from the surroundings, we try and stretch those donations as far as we can. I've got a slogan for our new ship. We started as an intellectual movement built around atheism. As our numbers increased, we began focusing on humanitarian efforts and showing what humanity can achieve when we work together. Perfect. It just so happens there's a task I need help with right now. Very funny. Not exactly proof of a higher creator, but if you do well, maybe I won't argue the point. As for the job, I need you to pick up a man named Tahir over at the Medbay. He's recovering from some injuries and needs assistance getting back to his apartment. I'd like you to pick him up, grab a bite to eat, and take him home. I'm afraid not. Even after you're healed, it takes time to recover from something like this. Most people have family and friends to lean on, but Tahir has no one. On top of that, he's a young and prideful man, so he won't accept help from UC security. That's a touchy subject. Tahir's had several run-ins with UC security, including tagging, theft, and brawls. He also blames the UC for the conditions in the well, not to mention his own personal difficulties. And since he won't accept help from the authorities, the house is stepping in to provide some aid. In one of the poorer districts, near where the children play soccer. Take him that far and he should be fine. Tahir is prideful, and I don't want him to feel like you held his hand. You just nudged him in the right direction. Great, you'll find him over at the med bay. He's probably hungry, so after you pick him up, escort him over to Kay's. She should have a meal ready for him to take home. And thanks. Kay's place is like a second home. Problem is, I don't really have a first. We should go see a bad game sometime. You coming or not? This is our year. It's the last time I'm gonna offer. I don't need your help. I can walk home on my own. Suit yourself. But if you get lost or end up in a cell, don't blame me. I tried to help. You're in the vanguard, right? Hey, thanks for your service. Ah, the pain is killing me. Hey, you wouldn't happen to know where the socket nuts are? 
My apartment's in the same area. I got a bad case of the brain fog. And I can't seem to remember which way to go. You see security offered, but I refused. Their help is the reason I'm hurt in the first place. I was arrested a while back for tagging. One of the officers roughed me up pretty bad, and I haven't been the same since. Really? Is this some sort of scam? I'll have you know, I got no creds. I've got some chronic health problems. Aches, pains, you name it, I got it. Most days I can deal with it, but sometimes my body doesn't respond at all, and I end up in the med bay. They put me on some pretty hard meds, and it, it takes a while for the fog to clear. The doc said to give it a few hours, but I'd rather not stick around this dump any longer than I have to. Not yet. I'm actually starving, but I, I think I have some canned goods at home. Andy Singh. Well, if I'm gonna owe anyone, I'd rather it be the house than the UC. All right, you win. Seeing as I got no one else, might as well roll the dice with a stranger. So, go on, lead the way. You know why this place has stood for so long? I make sure everyone's comfy. I tell it like it is, and I don't take any shit. Stay as long as you like, and don't be a stranger. I've got it right here. Is this for you to hear? Well, I don't have any credits, so... Then you're good. I already talked to Andy, and this one's on the house. Thanks, Kay. You're welcome, kid. It's just good to see you alive and well. You know, there was a time when you'd be in here every night. Things change, Kay. I know. Believe me, I know. And I get it's hard to come out here, but just... Oh, don't be a stranger, okay? I'm sorry, I... I... I'll try not to. Good. I'm glad we got that sorted. Here's the soup. Be careful, it's a little hot. Nice to meet you. Ah, here we are. Home sweet home. <laughs> At the end of the day, home is home, even if it's a bad one. But thanks for the help. I, I probably would have found it on my own, but it would have been a chore. Oh, right, the, the soup from Kay's. Man, it's been a long time since I had a warm meal. You might say that. Before I got hurt, I used to stop by Kay's every night for a soup and a sandwich. It didn't matter how bad my day was or how empty my pockets were. As long as I had my food and my beer, I'd be good. All that weight would just wash away. And to be honest, I haven't felt that feeling in ages. Until now. So, you doing this for me, it means a lot. Thanks. Thanks. I, I didn't know what to make of you at first. Not often you can trust a stranger down here. Well, glad I did. I wish 
island on a spaceship. If you got anything valuable in you, keep it close. <laughs> you never know what might happen down here. What do you want? I'm very busy, as you can tell. Yeah, well, newsflash, buddy. I don't like anything about you, either. In fact, I dislike you with such conviction that I'm inclined to fight you right now. What do you say we go ten rounds? Right here, right now. Yeah, uh, well, luckily for you, I actually hurt my hand when I was punching some other asshole's lights out. Uh, Doc says it'll take a few weeks or months to heal. Yeah, yeah, we'll take a rain check. But once my hand heals, you're done for. What do you want to know? You with security? <laughs> oh, yeah? Maybe I'll hide my boot in your ass if you don't quit asking questions. That is, unless you're with security. In which case, I wasn't threatening you, that was just a joke, and <laughs> no crime's been committed. I'm actually a very nice person. Are you kidding? Take a look around. You're in the most boring place in the galaxy. Only good thing down here is Kay's house. Best cooking in the settled systems. And let me tell you, I know my food. But I can't even go there anymore because Kay banned me for bad behavior. Me! Can you believe that? What a load of crap! Whatever. There's something I need to talk to you about. Hey. Fine. You want a beer? Fine. You want a buddy to talk to, or a therapy session, or whatever? Walk right back out that door. Down here? Like that's somehow different from other bars? Wars, maybe? That's what you're implying? What are you? A structural engineer? Some mass egghead? I know full well what down here implies. First of all, I didn't ask what you thought of it. Second, don't blow smoke up my ass. We both know it ain't nice. Yeah, all right. Well, bye. I have an important, personal decision to make, but I need to discuss something with you first. Phew, thank you. So, where to start? Um, before I was with the Navigator Corps, I was career military, part of the United Colonies Navy. When the Colony War broke out, I was posted as the Chief Navigator on a warship, the Dauntless. In my case, I was third in command, which has a lot to do with the story. There was a particularly bloody battle. We were fighting over a world in the Aeta Cassiopeia system. Worst fighting I'd ever seen. We lost 12 ships that day. 12. Including my own. Economic reasons. Several of the worlds in the Cassiopeia system were mineral-rich. Both sides wanted to drop refinery outposts on the surface to bolster their supply. I'm well aware how many lives were lost. Now let me finish. The ship was barely intact. The captain and first mate died the previous day, which put me in command. A shrewd captain would have called for the crew to abandon ship. But I was so angry. I wanted to stay. 
I need it to fight. The Dauntless was a tough little ship. No shields and the hull was breached, but it still had power. And weapons. That's why I remained in the battle. Huge mistake. <sighs> I believe you. But you haven't heard the worst of this. We fought for hours, but the damage was fatal. I gave the order to abandon ship and the crew piled into the escape shuttle. As the shuttle launched, I could see it was damaged. I... I heard screams before the radio cut, and last thing I saw they were... spiraling helplessly towards the planet's surface. There was... There was nothing I could do. The ship barely had enough power for comms and life support. All I could do was... was watch them die. It was my duty as acting captain to be the last person to leave the Dauntless. We had more than one escape shuttle available. So... I elected to wait until they were safe. Thank you. But condolences can't reverse what I've done. I was caught up in the moment. An inexperienced captain making rash decisions that cost people their lives. My superiors. When the dust settled, the United Colonies gave me a medal. Can you believe that? A damn medal! I never even had a chance to find the shuttle wreckage and give my crew a proper burial. After I checked every section of the ship for wounded crew, I took the other escape shuttle. If I hadn't, I would have died. The Dauntless came apart minutes after I escaped. That's true, but still, it doesn't erase the real issue here. Remember when you said no one but me would have pushed harder to keep the Navigator Corps going? Well, this time, pushing too hard to cost lives. Don't you get it? Everything I do... Everything I touch, somehow, falls apart. That's why I'm worried about... us. Look, it's clear the two of us are becoming more than partners. We're becoming close friends. Even though I've pushed people away in the past, I feel different when I'm around you. I feel... safer comfortable. Not afraid to admit who I am. I'm terrified I'm going to screw that up. You still have faith in me. I don't even know what to say. I never realized how much you cared about me. You know, I spent a lot of time thinking about us. About our relationship, how we've clearly become close. I practiced what I was going to say when the moment was right, and now that it's here, my mind's gone blank. <laughs> ah. Look, you deserve the best. Someone who can give themselves to you entirely. But right now, I have too much baggage. Too much on my mind. I hope you'll forgive me for pushing you away. I just need time. Sorry, I shouldn't assume. Maybe you go by Carl. 
You're just not the girl I was waiting for. We're supposed to be investigating a power drain down here. People have been reporting brownouts for a while, and Mass finally decided to follow up on it. I can't be in two places at once, and Carl isn't here, so I'm just trying to look inconspicuous. We're trying to isolate a power drain, which looks like it's the result of a large amount of power being rerouted through various subsystems. But it's kind of a two-person job. Someone needs to find the junction boxes associated with those subsystems and power them down. The other person needs to monitor the system remotely. It's pretty simple, really, and relatively safe. Only a small chance of electrocution. Co-worker of mine on this assignment with me. Clearly not taking it seriously. Not really surprising. Most folks are fine with ignoring what goes on down here. Well, since you're here and Carl isn't, and I really want to get this solved, I will take you up on that. What I need isn't very technical. I can talk you through it remotely. I'm gonna head to the monitoring station. The first box we're looking for is over near UC Surplus. You know, Antonio's place. I can contact you once you get there. Well done. 
You saved me like a week of work. Why didn't you meet me at the monitoring station, near where we met? Sector. Oh, that's really real Did I say thank you? Because thank you. There's no way I could have done that in a reasonable amount of time all by myself. Well, not everyone would be, and I appreciate it. Thanks to your help, I was able to trace the power drain. I know where it's coming from. Unfortunately, the source is exactly where I was afraid it was. The Trade Authority. So, that's something that I'll need to deal with. That'll be fun. If you want to tag along, I certainly wouldn't complain. But if not, then this is where we part ways. So thanks to you, we've got evidence that the Trade Authority is behind the power drain being reported down here. I don't know if you ever dealt with the Trade Authority, but Zoe is intimidating. I have to go in there, but I really, really don't want to. You think you'd be willing to go with me? Just make sure this doesn't go badly? I don't know. I feel like I'm the one who's going to wind up in trouble. Zoe's got a way of twisting things. Thanks. That means a lot. I can do the talking, I think. Just be ready for, well, anything. You'll have to remind me of your name, dear. I'm afraid I can't keep track of all you little worker drones. I'm Luis Reyes. Well, you know that, because I've been in here three times. Yes, yes, of course you are. And was it you were accusing me of with absolutely no evidence? The power drain is coming from your building, Zoe. You and I both know it, and now I can prove it. I'm sorry, what? We traced the drain, checked the grid. It led us here. You, you can't talk your way out of this. I'm going to ask you to wait here a moment. I'll be right back. Is Mast outsourcing its help now? How droll. This was pretty low on the list of things I wanted to do today. Okay, just be ready for anything. I don't know if she's going to come out of there with a gun or call in mercenaries or what. Don't worry. Whatever happens, we're prepared to handle the situation. I don't want this to turn out violent if we can avoid it, okay? Believe me, I really, really hope I am. But I'll tell you, people in my division tell stories about Zoe. She's got a lot of influence. Okay, you're probably right. Just need to breathe. Well, Miss Reyes, I apologize for not taking this matter more seriously. I assure you, I will eagerly assist in getting to the bottom of this. No, 
You're not weaseling out of this. We got to the bottom of it. You are the bottom. I appreciate your enthusiasm for your work, but I'd do a little more research before casting aspersions. Someone has indeed been using this location through which to route electrical power. It is not the Trade Authority. I've had my suspicions for a while, and have been keeping detailed notes, which I'm happy to share with you. For now, though, what do we do next? I... wait, what? Oh, for heaven's sake. I presume you've been assisting Miss Reyes in tracking down this little problem. Well, clearly there's more work to be done. Why don't you continue the work you've been doing with an assurance that the Trade Authority will compensate you for your time? I'll coordinate things here with Miss Reyes. With Mast's access to the grid, we'll find out who did this soon enough. And why. Presumably, you're the one who's been doing the field work, so... I believe you'll find there's another junction box out there in the well that needs your attention. Okay, well, this is not how I saw this going. For the moment, let's assume this is all legitimate. I can sort out the details with Zoe. So why don't you go investigate the next junction box? Yeah? diagrams and blueprints to accurately assess the situation before she returns i'm going to make you an offer whatever you find at the end of this path you bring it to me first i'll be certain that mast gets what it needs but i trade in valuable information i suspect you're going to find some i guarantee you the trade authority will pay well consider that as you head towards the residential district we can't pinpoint the source yet 
but it's somewhere over there. Well, that's unexpected. Powering down that junction doesn't show any other connections. Clearly, the source must be inside that residential tower. Yeah, that would make sense. You know, I think I remember seeing a report about power problems on one of the upper floors. I bet it's related. See if you can get up there. Nicely done. In other news, on the lifeless planet of Ectera, a mining operation run by Argos extractors was attacked by the Crimson Fleet. Argos was mining valuable minerals. They had mined hard enough to attract attention. The pirates expected easy prey, but instead they found more than they bargained for. A heated battle ensued between the Crimson Fleet and the miners. Armed with only their trusty mining lasers, the Argos crew fought off the Crimson Fleet and defended their facility. A surprising turn of events and a victory for us all. You're listening to the Settled Systems News Network. You're in the Vanguard, right? Hey, thanks for your service. Thanks for all that work. You can give me what you found now. So you tracked it down. You've got something to show for it? Great. I'll get this back to Mass for analysis. I'm not stupid. I know Zoe probably made you an offer. I appreciate that you didn't take it. And I'm really glad we got to work together on this. So, looks like maybe someone thought they could hack into Galibank's system. In fact, looks like maybe they did. Still want to claim you had nothing to do with this, Zoe? My dear, why in the world would I want to break the law? And Galbank, no less. I do quite enough business with them as it is. All right. Well, I'll have some people look over this. Maybe they'll be in touch. I very much doubt that. See you around. Something to report? My boss says that it's been fine. Oh, I'll kill for a cup of coffee right about now.
not used to people coming up to me. The suit usually scares them off. <laughs> Although I guess that's my fault, isn't it? I guess you could say I've always had it. Once you've been all over, like I have, you might find yourself in something like this too. into this conversation and I'm already getting sized up. Well, outside heroic individuals like yourself, the suit can give people pause. That can be handy when I need it. Retired, actually, from too many lives to count. But I've been all those things, yeah? And a few more. I spend a lot of time in the fringes these days. God help you if you come across something someone wants. You'd think it was things like civilizations and factions that cause people to want to shoot each other. No, even without that, it's still winner take all. Well, you're on to me. That's what makes the reality so tragic. Wait a second. I think I'm in danger of having a real conversation with someone for a change. <laughs> Better stop here. I'm sure we'll see each other again. Sora, good to see you. Listen, I uh, smoothed over that incident between Matteo and Rosa at the Sanctum. I'd hardly call it an incident, more of a debate, really. But I appreciate it just the same. Not a problem. In the meantime, maybe you could tell him to take it down a notch. Can do. Thanks again, Sergeant. After that business with the Termorph, it's good to get back to small crimes and petty thieves. Ah, oh, Captain. It's good to see you again, under much calmer circumstances. You wouldn't be here about the job, would you? Might not be worth your time, considering your rank. Part-time security officer. The position's very flexible. Uh, you can basically work whenever you're available. No pressure. We've had some... Gaps in the schedule lately. Macy's out on maternity leave, Jose's on loan to Sidonia. When it rains, it pours type of situation. So really, we just need someone to fill the void. Interested? All right, Captain. Just keep in mind, this isn't going to involve your usual level of excitement. No mind-altering terramorphs and explosions in the spaceport. Just simple, good old-fashioned police work. Your first assignment couldn't be easier. Go to Mast and check in with Agent Plato at Aegis. There was a package left at a dead drop and they need UC security to handle it. He'll fill you in on the details. You know, Mast, uh, the Military, Administrative and Scientific Triumvirate. Giant building in the center of the city? Headquarters of the entire United Colonies? I really should have given you a more thorough interview. Aegis? They're basically UC intelligence. They help identify threats to New Atlantis before they become problems. While we're separate departments, there are times we need to rely on each other, so it's important to keep a good working relationship. We do Agent Plato this favor, and maybe he'll toss us some intel when an investigation stalled. Tit for tat. You know how it works. Well, just because you're bringing it here doesn't mean that's where it'll end up. 
As for why, you can ask Aegis. As far as I'm concerned, it's none of my business. The whole department is in the process of recovering, myself included. If I'm being honest, I still have nightmares of my team turning on one another. Things can be replaced and wounds can be healed, but building back that trust in each other is going to take time. Luckily, we've built a good culture here and we hired some new recruits who were inspired by what you did. I've got faith we'll survive this. See you later. Something you need? Sergeant Yumi was looking for you. Sounds like he's got more work. I'm afraid I'm not at liberty to discuss the details of my division's work. The fewer people there are thinking about Aegis on a daily basis, the easier my job is. I'm the acting head of Aegis, the intelligence division here in MAST. I oversee all our active projects and agents in the field, and I'm afraid that's about as much detail as I can give you. Not even someone with your list of accomplishments can receive the proper clearance to know more. Nothing personal. All you really need to know is that we're here to serve and we're the good guys. Our main priority is the safety and security of the citizens and assets of the United Colonies, wherever they may be. We keep an eye on, well, everything. That is a word that has been used, both for good and ill, to describe us at times. That's a level of detail I can't get into. Don't worry, we've got plenty of good people working hard. No need to thank me. It's an honor to be of service. <laughs> no. My parents would never have been so presumptuous. Every agent who joins Aegis gets to choose a pseudonym, pending approval, of course. I chose this for myself when I signed on. I have, of course, since learned that I am not nearly as smart as I thought I was as a younger man. I suppose none of us are. We're the intelligence arm of the United Colonies. Think of it this way. You see security responds to threats. It's Aegis's job to anticipate and prevent them. They've got you doing grunt work, Captain. Hardly the reward I'd expect for saving the city from a Terramorph attack. Admirable. I bet qualities like that are precisely why you've moved so quickly up the ranks. But I'm sure stopping a Terramorph invasion didn't hurt your case. In any case, let me fill you in. We have a dead drop that we think has been compromised. So I'd like someone from UC Security to handle the pickup instead. Take the package back to Sergeant Yumi, and he'll check it in as evidence before it gets routed back to Aegis. 
We think non-UC affiliated groups have their eye on it and are using it to identify field agents. Normally, we just burn the location, but we didn't get this intel until after the drop. So we're going to need non-Aegis personnel to do the pickup to cover our tracks. Well, I told the sergeant that anyone hired for this job should get my stamp of approval first. Nothing personal. It's just this sort of work isn't part of your normal detail. Of course, you're the last person I expected to be walking into my office, Captain. Suffice it to say, you're qualified. Take the NAT to the spaceport. There should be a Galbank ATM right next to the station. The package is taped under one of the benches. Grab it and deliver it to Sergeant Yumi and the job's done. Just the usual reports from agents in the field on persons of interest. Right now, the information isn't as important as who we're tracking. Good luck with the mission. How's the investigation going? Still have questions? Go ahead and... Good work, Captain. Suffice to say, you were overqualified for this job. But given our staffing problems, I'm still glad you showed up. That being said, my luck seems to be turning around. We've gotten a lot of new personnel as of late, not just you. Who knew all I had to do was put up a sign? As am I. And the best part is, since you're all part-timers, there's no paperwork. Anyway, here's your payment. And if I have any more work for you, I'll let you know. Ah, if it isn't my favorite part-time security officer. Ah, it's a lot of work, as always. People like to say, New Atlantis is the safest city in the settled systems. How hard could your job be? Well, safety doesn't happen by accident. It takes a lot of work and a lot of people. I've got nothing at the moment, but come back later. And I might have something for you. See you later, Captain. is back. Here to report anything else? If you have a new story for me, I'm very happy to pay your fee. Hey, that's great. Thanks so much. Did everything go all right? That's why stories like this one are so important. If people knew what was going on down there, maybe they'd want to help fix it. I can't thank you enough for helping me out. I'll send you a copy of the story if it gets published. There's nothing like seeing your name in print. Next time, then. <laughs> <laughs> 